During watch. Though the control room automation monitors all engine room parameters, a physical round every one hour will ensure more reliability in terms of watch keeping. Many disasters are averted by good watch keeping. Never hesitate to inform your senior engineer in case you are unable to handle machinery problems. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Most of the major jobs can be attended during off-watch hours. Always ensure someone is present in the control room while you're taking your rounds. Monitoring all the logbook parameters is the first step to good watch keeping. Any abnormality must be attended immediately, either by yourself or by informing your superiors. It is important to know all engine room system pipelines and valves so that you can isolate a system in case of an emergency. There have been cases of huge fuel oil overflow on main deck because the pump auto stop float malfunctioned. So, check all fuel oil and lube oil tank levels. Check ME and AE expansion tank water levels. Sump soundings have to be checked on high priority. Check oil level in sumps of all three generators. Check the lube oil in sump. Check oil level in gear case. Check the water level in gauge glass. Check the flow of lube oil in both turbine engine and blower side bearings and also check their temperatures. Do not enter any reading that you have not checked or seen yourself. The logbook entry should be actual and genuine at all times. As your relieving engineer comes on watch, be prepared to answer all his queries regarding your watch. Any abnormality in the engine room must be informed to him. You can leave the engine room only when he is satisfied. You could be arriving at a port or departing from a port during your watch. There is a company checklist for both arrival and departure. The checklist guides you through the complete process of changeovers involved, which eliminates problems due to oversight.